Good morning, today I'm going to make some focaccia, a very simple focaccia recipe using rosemary, garlic and some sea salt to finish it off. I've got 500 grams of strong white flour and I've got 10 grams of salt in there. In here I've got two packets of dry yeast, so that's the equivalent of 14 grams, two tablespoons of olive oil, and 325 mils of warm water. It's around 37 degrees. And all I'm gonna do, very, very simply, is pour the liquids straight in. I'll let the, um, the yeast and the water just sit for about 10, 15 minutes, just until it comes together. And all I'm doing now, is I'm just bringing this together and this is going to be quite a wet dough then all we're going to do is pop it into the uh, pre-prepared tray then we're going to prove it then I'm going to prove it for around two hours usually I would have a little bit of cling foam over the top just to prevent it getting skin but I'm going to add quite a lot of water to it and some olive oil to prevent it getting the skin. So now you can see that's come together. So this is just strong flour, 500 grams, 10 grams of salt, 325 of water, olive oil and the yeast. So now all I'm going to do is just bring this together and knead it. I'm going to knead it for around 10 minutes. And it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but it will come together. So I'm just stretching and turning it. So stretch it, turn it, stretch it, turn it. I'm not going to add any extra flour or anything at the moment. I'm just stretching and turning. So you can see it's already coming together. Really stretching it. Don't worry about it sticking. Just keep it working. And you can see it's come together. I'm just trying to roll it. Stretching it, there's no real wrong way. In kneading, you're just trying to stretch the gluten. So I'm going to do this for around 10 minutes. I've been kneading this for around 8 minutes and you can see it's already coming together. It's forming a dough and I'm just going to keep going until it's really nice and stretchy. It's quite a wet dough and I'm just going to leave that to prove all together just once, so that's a bulk ferment. So it's all together with some extra oil on the top, some olive oil, you can use any oil really, and a little bit of water. And now I'm quite happy with that. I've got <laughs> quite a large baking tray and all I'm going to do is just pop my door straight into it. I've just got a little bit of water in. I'm just going to flatten it out so it's nice and easy. So this is just some warm water. You don't have to be too precious with it. What this water is going to do, it's going to act um, as, as a cover, especially when I put a bit of oil on there, and it's going to stop it drying out. 
So when I leave this for about two hours, it's gonna prove up. If you don't cover it or if it's not wet enough, it will get a big crust on and it won't go, it won't rise, it will just crack. You could add any flavours to this, you can add cheeses to it. Um, I'm just going to uh, add some garlic, some rosemary just before I pop it into the oven. So that's looking really nice and even. You can already see it's starting to move. And a little splash of olive oil on there. So that's about just over half a tablespoon of olive oil. And again, one final little push out, just try and use a full tray. As I mentioned before, this is quite a large batch, 500 grams of uh, bread flour, but you can, you can cut it half in half, do half a batch. All right, cheers guys. I'll see you in about two hours. So that's been proven for two hours. As you can see, it's doubled in size. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sprinkle some garlic on. You can put as much or as little as you want. It's just roughly chopped. Some rosemary. Again, as much or as little as you like. Then what I'm gonna do, we, we've proved for two hours, so I'm gonna knock back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run my fingers through it and poke holes in it. Then I'm gonna dust it with uh, oil, sprinkle oil on, and I'm gonna bake it in the oven. It's gonna bake in the oven for around 35 minutes. This is quite a thick one. 35 minutes at 190 degrees. And what I've done is I've put a tray at the bottom of the oven and I'm going to splash a little bit of water in the oven and I'm going to shut it and cook it for 35 minutes. So on goes the oil, a good glug of oil. So again about two tablespoons. Then, and you'll see all the massive air bubbles will give us a really good air structure. And we've just knocked it back and that's going straight into the oven with a splash of water for around 35 minutes. So after 35 minutes at a 190 degrees, it comes out and you just put a little bit of, a little bit more oil on just to finish it off. There's a nice little bit of char in on there. It's nice and hollow. Uh, I forgot to mention before I went into the oven, I put a little bit of sea salt on just to help with the flavor. 